it's nice to see so many of you here. Thank you all for coming. Um, we're going to start out uh, with just a bit about Henriette's upbringing, um, and then go on to her time here, her career. Eventually, we'll get to the garden, but it's all absolutely fascinating, as you will see. Um, in any case, um, you're going to have to tell us who these people are. Uh, <coughs> well, I really cannot tell you who the second one is, but uh, um, Lewis and Ken and Jean Sarah uh, were
open them. And we have returned 30 consecutive times in two hotel rooms at the Hotel Europa. And it's still there today. It's one of the old hotels in Venice. So. In India, I think you have lots to say about India, because you went there on buying trips. I yes, I, you know, that uh, when rather, we, we skipped a few things here, uh, in, uh, I started working, you know, I was obviously in the, in working all the very years, and, and, and during the war years, I worked for Macy's, and I ran the display department with 90 fellows working for me, and I was the first woman ever to have a job of a running a display department. So that was sort of very exciting. And then later, uh, you know, I started, had a few jobs, and I started working for Bloomingdale's in, in 1949. And uh, the interesting thing about the, 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 the thing was that usually uh, when uh, all the, the large department stores throughout the United States are uh, practically always ran by ready-to-wear people because that is where the money is and it is not you know at the top very very uh, rarely is there the, the person that is interested in the home furnishing and it so happened that when Bloomingdale's, the chairman, was a home furnishing man. And uh, he was uh, very much interested already early on in uh, the rest of the world. He was a great Frank Theo. He traveled every year to France. And uh, I had agreed when I worked for them uh, that I would be uh, taking two months off in July and August. But I had told him that I would be traveling anywhere where he wanted me to travel during those months. And uh, this was 1955 there, where I had already been working quite a few years there. And uh, he had sent me, he came back from Paris one day and said, that's so fabulous, you know, fabrics in an exhibition. I want you to go to India. And the Mises only thing you brought back. So. <laughs> Photograph by the New York Times. And this was taken in India, was it? No. This was taken. This, this did belong somewhere else. How <laughs> 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 uh, about this, though? Uh, this is all the books of your craft, yes? Uh, these are, you know, you know, when we traveled a lot, you know, and, uh, you know, not only for business, but you know, we went uh, to the Himalayas, we went uh, to, to the Near East, we uh, camped out uh, in Bali Run, and you know, always you expect assemble thousands of postcards, maps, and different things. And what do you do with the things? And uh, since uh, I visited Venice very often, and there are these wonderful paper shops. I, you know, I made this big map. What, one great boxes, I bought these boxes and put all my paraphernalia in there. And uh, I still use them today. And uh, since much of my work I did at, at that time has been published, they, you know, when I built the house, or rather we built the house in the country, uh, some, you know, I think it was the Harold Tribune at that time that showed the, this corner of my, my living room with the boxes. And there's a lady that ran a charming little shop on Madison Avenue on 71st Street, uh, who sold decorative, uh, you know, objects. And she asked me, could she possibly, you know, rather try to sell boxes like this. And I can tell you on the east side, apparently, many, many apartments, including, uh, I think, Mrs. Anas's apartment, where these boxes that ended up, you know, not my boxes. 